welcome back to another episode and we are with my friend Marquan Smith and he's not just anybody he's an amazing guy actor and producer tell everybody a little bit about your show well we are on season four I have a TV series called the Godfather of Harlem we we are airing on Amazon MGM and Hulu MGM plus and we're in our fourth season once again starring Forrest Whitaker Vincent D'Onofrio John Carlo Esposito and um, it's a great show about the collision of civil rights in the underworld so when you're the producer, it is your responsibility to obviously put the talent together. Who is responsible for the script? Well, Chris Brancato, who's my partner, he created the TV series Narcos. He's the showrunner on the show. Um, and as an executive producer, you know, just to correct, it's not about, we, we have a casting department that does that. It's more about uh, bringing the story arcs to life, you know, making sure the A story and the B story and the C story, they all collide, you know, it's a great show. And I know we know where to find you, but if somebody wanted more information about getting involved in acting, what would you tell somebody today? Oh man, I would say go to Barnes and Nobles, get acting for dummies, producing for dummies, <laughs> directing for dummies. I know we laugh at that, but it really helps because you don't want to be an actor that's in the sandbox with an Oscar Award winning actor such as Forrest Whitaker and you look like a deer stuck in headlights. So those books are really good, as well as take classes, you know, take classes, uh, go to different uh, theater groups, Naked Angels, uh, Lab, uh, La Mama, uh, uh, Public, you know, and, and learn the craft of acting. Acting is not just about memorizing lines, it's about becoming a situation, becoming that person and making it believable. Did you always want to be in the acting space? Oh, absolutely. I think acting is one of the things that kind of saved me, you know, growing up in a community like uh, Harlem and Far Rockaway, Queens, you know, watching movies like Maltese Falcon, Rebel Without a Cause. Um, one of my favorite movies is Once Upon a Time in America. I thought I was noodles. So <laughs> that was really like one of those uh, things that was like my, uh, that was like my zen. That was like, you know, just sitting there closing a room and just drowning everything else out. I love it. So we know that we are at Victor Green's golf outing right now. Absolutely. What do you think about Victor and the work that he does with the children? Oh man, he's amazing. I mean, the children are our future. I know it sounds cliches, but it's so true. You know, even when I go on speaking engagements and do fireside chats, I like to tell kids that don't look at the story before, you know, don't look at the glory before you know the story. If you can do it, I can do it, I can do it, you can do it. You can either chase your pension or your passion. It's up to you. And I decided to chase my passion. I love it. Well, thank you so much for joining us thank today. So we'll chat with you in a little bit. All Stay right. tuned. We're getting ready to bring sure. you another guest. Peace.